Well, today we are talking about a legacy of community. In late July, Randy Rayburn, beloved Nashville restaurateur and owner of Midtown Cafe, passed away. And even though he isn't with us anymore, his presence is definitely still felt in everything he touched. That's right. There's no doubt about that. And assuring that's the case, this is his longtime friend and business partner, my friend Craig Clift, managing director of Midtown Cafe. I know this is a heartbreaking loss for yes. all of us, but today yep. we are celebrating Randy's life and how Absolutely. he really really shaped Music City Absolutely. and the restaurant industry Absolutely. specifically. Yeah. It's hard to sum it all up, but give those viewers out there a brief idea about what he did. Well, I mean, one thing is, is Kay West said it best, that he either hired you, fired you, or fed you. <laughs> and, you know, most people he fed in this town. So when you look at the years that he spent in all the different restaurants that he actually had something to do with, there's just this long list. Mm -hmm. You know, last time I checked, I think it was 30 something restaurants that he had something to do with, mm -hmm. whether it was consulting it, whether it was actually running it, mm -hmm. um, you know, so all over really what was 40 something years in the restaurant business in Nashville. His hands in so, all the pots. Hands it in all the pots. Really so. and truly. And you know, it's so funny because you said in everything. Mm -hmm. I read something somewhere today that Kenny Chesney actually parked cars for him. Oh, yes. And someone has called Absolutely. him a pollinator, that he was is kind of um, able to pull in all the right people together and there was this beautiful celebration of life. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, you were there, you were mm -hmm. there as well. Um, and it really brought in so many people, the who's who, I know Mayor O'Connell was there. Um, we even had other restaurants serving oh, yeah. food there. Yeah. Explain that ce uh, celebration of life and, and how beautiful it was. So ultimately Randy wanted a party. <laughs> and so what we gave him was a party. A party. <laughs> so there were about 1,800 people that showed up for this party. And um, there, were, there were nine chefs, um, most of which were, well, all of them, were all in one way or another either worked for Randy or Randy somehow got them started. Mm -hmm. You know, there were valets there. There were, you know, people that may have been just a dishwasher. They showed up. We had people come from all over the country for this celebration. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I had a hostess fly in from uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, wow. you know, for this. So yeah. really neat. Really cool. Well, I love that his legacy lives on now yep. at Midtown Absolutely. Cafe and a lot of his staple dishes. They are. That were at Sunset, <laughs> my are. personal favorites, the yeah. nachos. Yeah. But we're going <laughs> to focus on the voodoo <laughs> pasta today because yeah. everyone loves the voodoo pasta. So the reason I brought voodoo pasta is because mm -hmm. Randy always, whenever he did a show like this, mm -hmm he cooked voodoo pasta yes. because he always said nobody does voodoo like we do. No. So, so easily done, you know, you just need shrimp See, right there. You need sausage, yeah. uh -huh. you need chicken. Chicken. Right. Now, got to have a little spice. Depends yeah. on how much spice you want and how much, little or, you know, you get a little bit of spice, you can do a lot of spice. Okay, okay. very good. Showcasing, so, very things. good, there you go. very good. Yep. good. All right. Next. Real quick, real simple. This is something that anybody could really make at home. The spice would be just a normal, like blackening spice, or you know, a Cajun Creole type mm. spice, something mm -hmm. like that. So you just get all that going. A little butter in there is what we started with. Yep. Kind of toss it all around. Then marinara. Now at Midtown, yes, we do make our marinara homemade. Okay. We Very actually, good. So we've got to, uh, you know, we cook down onions, peppers, things like that. Get it all kind of going, right? <laughs> So, it smells so yes, good. Yes, it is very good. There's so. a we got reason the why Midtown <laughs> constantly wins awards for its food. Absolutely. And Absolutely. I love that you guys do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Correct. Yes. Yes. <laughs> for yes. those who haven't been to Midtown Cafe, tell mm -hmm. them why it was rated one of the top 50 best southern restaurants in the entire in United, United States. States. <laughs> well, for one, A, you're sitting in Nashville. It's sitting in the heart of Nashville or in uh -huh. Midtown mm -hmm. as Midtown Cafe, right? And so, you know, it's been a staple. The, the chef, which I'm not the chef, uh -uh. the chef has been there 29 years. Mm -hmm. You know, the servers, the servers have been there 27, 28, you know, It's years. a family. Mm -hmm. It is a family. So the restaurant's actually 37 years old. Um, and so when you take the, that kind of restaurant being around that long, it's, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty neat and it's pretty special. You know, kind of one of those things of you walk in the door and the server that's been there yes. is still waiting you on can you. Expect them. You can expect them and yeah. they're not going anywhere. I and so it. we're not going anywhere. The, you know, Randy had it, you know, set up and as the managing director, it is my job to make sure that Midtown continues. We're not changing anything. We're doing exactly the same way. And the voodoo pasta has been made the same way for 
the 30 something years that I've known Randy. Yep. So, I love it. I love so, it. You yeah. guys visit Midtown. Support Randy's boys that he yeah, left behind. Absolutely. Thank you, Craig, for sharing yeah. your story. Support local. Make your reservation yeah. at MidtownCafe.com. More local on two right after this.